these songs sound good. Because I'm on the... <laughs> the Beehive is absolutely buzzing this morning. Beyonce dropped her new album overnight. Fans will get 16 new tracks. And it's been six years since her last solo album release. This one features other artists, artists like Jay-Z, Skrillex, The Dream, Drake, and more. Question, are you tuning in? I know us three here at the desk, mm -hmm. we sure have. Uh, I got to say, I, I love the album. It's a little bit different yeah. from her prior albums, but I appreciate the change. I do too. I would say it's a party album. So I started listening to it as I was getting ready for work. And I don't know, it just put me in a good mood because yeah. it's Friday and like I'm in the mirror jamming as I'm, you know, doing my yeah. makeup and heading to work. So I like it. I give it A so far. Yeah. The thing about Beyonce is like all six of her albums sound completely yes. different. And if I can remember, her last album was Lemonade, which mm -hmm. was kind of that deep album is about, you know, her marital issues. And then she gives us this album, which is like, got you girls, yeah. have fun. <laughs> And yes. I loved it. I mean, I think it's probably in my top five when it comes to her albums now. Mm -hmm, so for sure, I'm definitely like you said, like go get the girls, grab your best girlfriends, and just let yeah. the album play mm -hmm. and just have a good time. And that's kind of the feel that I got listening to the album. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, Beyonce isn't the only person with new music out today. Selena's new song "Como Te Quiero." Yo IT dropped overnight. Even more good news, there is a music video for her 1995 hit Two Solo Two. It's been 27 years since the song hit number one on the Latin chart, just months after the singer's tragic death. Now, the new video is to help promote a new album of unreleased music and new versions of her, of some of her classic songs. You gotta love Selena. Ah. I love her so much. Me like too. when I was growing up in the 90s, like that was my cleaning music. Mm -hmm, I would mm -hmm. put Selena on and me and my mom, we'd be dancing around, singing yes. to her music. I think that was kind of really uh, the beginning of my love for Latin music started mm -hmm. with Selena and kind of carried on through today. Don't speak Spanish. You yeah. still love the music <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah. She had a beautiful voice. So I don't care. I, I don't speak Spanish either, but just hearing her voice was just yeah, I've seen her biopic so many times where J-Lo <laughs> played her. I feel like I know her. I know. And even though I, as well, do not speak Spanish, I feel like I know what she's saying. Yes. Like, I can just feel the beats and the vibes. And then even some of her music she released in English, I still listen yeah. to, like Dreaming of You and mm -hmm. things like that. So yes. Yes. I'll be listening to that yeah. as well. And I think that just shows the power of music. You may not understand the language, but you can still feel it. Uh -huh. And it brings out emotions that way. Oh, yes, yeah, for well. sure.